Hello and welcome to some more Tango Wars PJ Till 2005, literally Legend Till, as I butcher the intro. This time we're going back to Colonial CC. I think this is the second time we've been here now. We're going to take on Jeb, shoot him, McGraw. So, getting tougher. But it should be the same level as the other two. The last two I've done because it's the same tier. I didn't know how to do this, whether to do it like I'm doing it now or to do it like one legend at a time. But I thought doing it like this would be better because what's going to happen is if I did it one legend at a time, I'll beat a legend in a tough match. Then I'll end up with like another easy match right after that. I'm like, that makes no sense. Make sure you keep it in the fairway to have a chance to beat it. By doing it doing it this way, you, you at least keep uh, the difficulty consistent. Like it'll always go up. This is heading straight down the So play it safe though, play it safe. Three was gonna go too far. Just get on the fairway. Next on the team, Jeff McGraw. Just get it on the fairway and have an easier second shot. A little further than me, because he's got the three without. He hasn't got the power that I do. <laughs> You want to overhit it. Could have used a little more on that shot. At least a Get a bit of forward spin. The wind was not as uh, influential as I thought it would be there, but but on the green, it's not a massive one, but. We're doing better than that guy anyway. Too fast, too fast. We've got a shot. Take. So close. Take a 1 0 lead, and it's a pretty easy put. Just put, put, put a bit of power on it, and it's in. I actually thought he got it in for a second, but he didn't in the end. And we take one nil up against Shooter. Par five, next one. Hopefully, we can use our power advantage to this. Hole is a straight par five, the longest hole of the course. Making the green in two is possible for the power hitters, but the several bunkers that surround the green and nearby fairway can make for a tricky second shot. Okay, well, hopefully, don't screw this to the right again. But we are going to go for just power. Look, okay, that's pretty straight. A bit to the right, but I think having power boost does that. 308 yards, so we can make this in two. I don't think he can. I don't think he has the power. So this could be an easy, an easy uh, two up here. Depends what you can do, and what I can do. Nothing wrong with that swing. I like it because my my ball's tricolored. You can see it from a mile away. That's the brightest green I've seen. But it's worth it for that uh, extra spin boost it gives me. It's gone for it. This could be a problem, although there'll be a little more fiber in the diet. And the result is, is in the. At least you've got 69 yards to the pin, that's nice. Let's go. Got the driver out. The shot should find the green. We got it, we've got a massive putt. <laughs> But we're on the green. So Didn't want to use power boost because it needed to be accurate. <laughs> Too many bunkers about. Right, he's got a chip, he can make this. But if he doesn't, we're 3-0 we're, we're up. Okay. We've got two putts here to, to, to take a 3, three uh, oh, 2 up lead. Okay, I want the eagle, so I'm going for the uh, Tiger Vision here. Gotta be happy with this. Come on. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Yes. I need the money. More money the better. <laughs> the be be uh, better score you get, the more money you get. We need those attribute increases for when we take on the legends. Dog leg left par four presents a challenging tee shot. Bunkers line the fairway at the landing area, so. Right. I was going to skip to the right a bit. I saw the, the yellow trailer, but I aim to the left to compensate for that. We've got 
a decent t-shirt off in the end. We'll beat him for power anyway. This one's lacking in distance, but it's straight. We'll see how his, uh, his approach game is, because he needs a good approach, because we can get a decent shot off here. We're not far away, unless it's we get caught between two clubs. Where's that going? Okay, that's not a bad shot at all. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, screwed it again. Should be making a safe landing on the green. Actually, we're closer. We're closer. I skewed it, but we're on the green within ten foot. It's makeable. He's blown it. <laughs> I've seen many poor putts in my day. This ranks right up there. We'll just uh, right edge a bit. Should just drop straight in. Once again, a little over dramatic, but it's a bit more chill than before, so it is learning. You can't believe how easy this is. Play this par three short and end up in the water. Play it long and a nasty bunker awaits. The safe bet is to aim the tee shot towards the left side of the green and spin to the pin. Okay, no wind, no wind. That's good. Like the looks of this one. Put a bit of backspin on it. Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. Pretty good shot, though. If, if, if I do say so myself, we can get that. So he, has to, he, he also has to get close here. He might have done it. Mistaken. This should find the green. No, he hasn't. If he had a lot of backspin on that, it, it, it would have been fine, but. No backspin, and he's left with a 14 foot putt, which he's not made. A little breeze might help this one. This for four straight birdies. Four straight birdies. And for four, four nothing lead. Win the hole. Okay, I said he was learning, and what does he do next round? Playing mind games with the opponent, because he knows they have to win every single one now to win. All these four out of the last five to tie it to force overtime. Hole fourteen. But what's going to happen is we're just going to win this hole and uh, and the episode. The left side of the fairway to avoid the bunkers on the right. The green is guarded by two nasty sand pits. All right. Let's go to the right a bit, but that's fine. Oh, he's got all of that one. Just crushed it down the fairway. 325 yards. Should be pretty simple to get to the green from here. Put some pressure on the AI. The, the late AI do give you like, no room for mistakes. Not a bad drive here. It, it gets a lot harder. <laughs> When we get to the later episodes, this will be quite hard. They very rarely miss. Don't be surprised, McCord, if this okay, well, we've won this one. You'll have to make a good shot from here. Uh, I'm going to aim to the left, just to make sure I avoid the bunker, because we've got two shots at this Nothing point. Wrong with this approach. Okay, we're, we're fine. David, what do you if he doesn't get this in, I think we've won. It's green and it's mean. Okay, that was terrible. Some pressure here to save par. To have any chance of forcing the dormy four here, he needs to get this in. Okay, this is over. We're not missing twice. Oh, that bogey's gotta hurt. Parody, give me some of your forensics on this one. Not too tricky here, Gary. Maybe just a little outside the left. Oh, well, we've won anyway. So close. Bad put at the end, but I knew I wasn't taking too much time on that because I knew we were going to win. So we won by the biggest margin, so we'll get hundred thousand dollars for winning, and then the biggest prize you can get for your win margin. Which is another fifty grand. Uh, 
I might do the scenarios on that as well after the Legend Tour. I'm not sure yet. But for now, we'll just upgrade some of our stats. I mean, 200k does not really go a long way here. But we'll try and get our putting up because I want extra, extra. Uh, what do you call it? Tiger vision. We're gonna need them as soon as we get to the uh, the old 18 rounds, which is the side and the legends. But next time we take on uh, Bev Boomer Bouchier. Edgewood. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some, for some more Let's Play Tag Wars PJ Tour 2005, The Legend Tour.